Hello, I'm John, and this is another Product Spotlight. Today we have a really cool model from Athern Genesis, so let's get over to the workbench right away. So as someone who really got my start as an adult in N-Scale, I always enjoy these packages of these fancy HO scale models. It's a nice hard cardboard box and then it has all this protective foam. Here we can see the stuff that it comes with. This is a warranty card or warranty information, right? I think we all expect that to come with our models. Here we have marketing stuff. Sign up for, hey, sign up for Athern News. Find out all the cool stuff they're coming out with. And then this is a very detailed, exploded view drawing and parts list. So, boy, that's a lot of parts. If you've ever wondered why locomotives cost so much, look at all the stuff that's in them. It's a lot of stuff. Then we have our... User's Guide, which has the sound information as well. These come with Tsunami 2 soundtracks and decoders. And there's a whole bunch of very interesting information included with this. Very comprehensive. So, then of course the key to all this is what we're really wanting to see. The model. So I'll get this thing unpacked and put out on the desk here, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here's what we're looking at. In case you didn't already guess or figured out from looking at the unboxing portion, this is an HO scale Athern Genesis AC4400CW. As you can see, it's decorated for Southern Pacific, number 336. As I unpacked the model, I also noticed it came with this bag of extra detail parts to be installed by the modeler. Now, Athern has these available as DCC ready or with DCC and sound installed. This is the DCC and sound installed one. But just so that you know, the MSRP of the DCC ready version is $264.99. And the MSRP for this version that has Tsunami 2 sound in it is $364.99. Now, keep in mind, these are MSRPs. So if you shop around, you'll probably find it for less somewhere. Something tells me that you'll want to look at Atherin's website to see exactly how many different versions and different road names and numbers they have on this model. Now, this is an Atherin Genesis model. So it has a lot of really good separately applied detail. It has a lot of really good etched metal detail, such as the grates all along the side up here. You can tell that the uh, handrail's nice and straight. It's thin. These models straight out of the box have just about every detail you could possibly want on them. Looking in here, you can see it has a lot of extra picked out stuff using red paint and other paint colors, right? To sh show all the detail around the fuel tank. You can see that the detail on the air reservoirs is pretty amazing. There's piping all over the place. There's a lot of undersill detail, separately applied little components down in here, all separately applied. Uh, pretty amazing. That's what Ather Genesis does. Also, look at the detail in the trucks. You have extra little, it looks like brake components along here. Uh, very good. The detail around the cab is also excellent. You can see it has the sunshade. There's a mirror here. Just, again, everything you'd want is there. And you can tell from this angle that it also has a fully detailed interior. Something I really appreciate about these models is the paint treatment around the windows and that goes for the front and the side here 
that looks like a gasket. It's just a black paint treatment that goes all the way around. Also, look how finely rendered the windshield wiper detail is. It's very impressive. Now shifting down to the details on and around the pilot, look at all the hose detail here. There's also an air hose on this side. You can see that the snowplow has the separately applied grabs. There's an uncoupling lever. Very cool. The step well is actually see-through photo etched steps. All these grabs up the nose are separately applied, very thin wire grabs. You can see that they're separately applied grabs up here on the hood as well. And also the sanding hatch details, quite nice. Also, you can see that it has ditch lights. I'm sure they work. We'll look at that in a few minutes. Uh, it's just a really nicely detailed model straight out of the box. I mentioned the stairwells being see-through. You can see it from here. And you can also see from here that the deck has the diamond plate tread on it. Here's a look at the front end detail on the fireman side. Equally impressive. So let's take a look at the detail on the fireman side now. It has all that same photo etched grill detail. It looks amazing. Something else I'm noticing that's pretty cool is there's that little, looks like a toolbox here with a separately applied step. There's a separately applied brake wheel back here amidst all this other <laughs> separately applied photo etched grill detail. It's pretty amazing. All these little warning labels, if you put on your magnifying visor, you can read those. And then on this side, there's a lot of undersill detail as well. There's a whole bunch of piping down in here that you can see comes out down here. The uh, rear truck has this chain detail, which looks pretty amazing. And then the front truck has the same sort of brake detail that I was pointing out on the other side. Something else I'm noticing that's really cool is that all of this photo etched stuff back here is see-through. So if you put a light behind it, you'll see that you can see through there. Looking at the detail on the rear of the model, you can see it's the same kind of stuff that we saw at the front, including these really thin wire grabs, see-through photo etched steps, uncoupling lever, just, you know, separately applied everything. Looks like we have some spare knuckle holders back here. It's a really nice looking rear of the model. And here's the rear of the engineer side. One of the really cool things about these models is that all of this grill detail back here in this radiator area is separately applied photo etched parts over molded parts that are underneath really creates a great illusion of depth there and just looks fantastic. You'll see that it also has the uh, smokestack here, which is, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch deep. That looks pretty good. The uh, horn casting is a three chime, accurate three chime horn casting. These warning labels here, if you put on your magnifying visor, you can read that stuff. And then it also has a separately applied antenna up here on the cab. Now it's time to run the model. I usually don't comment at this point, but I do want to say something that I just noticed is that it has a very throaty sound. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, it sounds a lot bigger than it looks. Anyway, let's continue here.
All right, now I'm going to run it without the sound turned on so you can see how quiet it is. I mean, sitting here in the room, I can barely hear anything. Whoops, I ran to the end of the track there. Very quiet mechanism. Okay, I've turned the lights down in the room a bit here so that we can see what we're looking at. Because we're going to take a look at the lights on this model. So when you turn the track power on, there's a little service light down here. That's what I call it. Uh, it's down right in here. And it's kind of hard to see, but it does come on. There's also one in the back that I'll show you in a minute. But you can turn the headlight on with F0. And then the ditch lights come on with F5. And the number boards come on with F6. And something else to note is that when you blow the horn, which you can't hear because the sound is off right now, but I'm pushing F2. And you can see that the ditch lights alternate flashing. Now, when I put the engine in reverse, you can see that the rear headlight comes on. And here's that little service light I was referencing earlier. It's just a tiny little LED right there. As you can see, this is another very solid release from Athern. It has a lot of excellent detail to look at. And I'm really happy with the sound on this one. It has a lot of bass in the speakers, and I'm not sure how they did that. I did not take it apart to find out how they did that. I'm just glad it's there. Something else I want to mention real quickly is you may have noticed I ran the model with the sound turned off this time. That's something I kind of stopped doing at some point, or maybe I never did it. I mean, I think I've done it a few times in the past. But the point is, I'm going to do that from now on because I had some comments on some of the other spotlights in the past that it would be helpful to hear the model without the sound as well as with the sound. So. I'm going to do that from now on, and hopefully it'll help you out. I think it makes sense that people want to hear how loud or how quiet the mechanism is without the sound turned on. So anyway, that's it for this time. A great job, Athern. I'm looking forward to seeing more, and I'll see you all next time.